That's a pike cast. Right there, Jerry. I told you. That's what I said. I was like, that's a pike cast right there, Jerry. He even called it for you, bro. Hold on, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Yeah, you're on fire today, bro. Beautiful day like this. <laughs> Did you hear me say it? Yeah. I was like, that's a pike cast, Jerry. Out in the middle. Oh, get him around that wood. I am. Oh, it's taking off. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, it's got another. It's got a. Mark. Yeah. There you go, brother. Nice. Woo! <laughs> What the buck is up? Hope you're having a buck and a rageous day. So today, we're going out pike fishing. So it's early morning right now and I'm just waiting for the light to get up. My buddy Jerry Rare is gonna come pick me up and we're gonna go and uh, do a little bit of pike fishing. I'm gonna be trying to throw around a little bit of a spinner or an inline spinner or something like that. Early spring pike is actually a good time to go out and try different things you know it actually substitutes like bass and stuff like that so hopefully we get some gators and uh hopefully get some nice sized fish i'm looking for just the first one of the season and if i can catch one i'd be that would be amazing so let's knock off that first one and see how we do so what i'm here using here is uh an inline spinner that my brother t made he made a whole bunch of these here beautiful beautiful inline spinners uh, he just makes them just for the fun so he can fish like the shoreline and the Detroit River and canals and stuff like that. But these blades are very, very nice and uh, I think he does a good job. So let's get out there and try to catch some of these fish. Yeah. So first gear of the day after Jerry just caught one. Here we go. Oh, she's nice. Not as big as yours, bro. Well, I'll show you guys a picture of Jerry's fish. We took a couple shots of it, but I'm out of shape. that's all right. So we see a picture of Jerry's when he sends it to me, and then there's mine. Beauty, gulped it. Amazing. Oh, no, you're good. Man, the mouth. Amazing, brother. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I right. said I want to go back in there and get tangled. All right, let's take this out. Uh, I'm gonna grab pliers. Yeah, we should get pliers just in case. So I'm using an inline spinner right now, so very versatile tool. I got it out. No, no, I'll still go grab pliers. Yeah, very versatile tool for pike fishing. Uh, they love inline spinners. Anything that's shiny with a blade that spins, musky also. But oh no, no! Oh, I got away. Well, it's okay, guys. You win some, you lose. But you got to see the pike. I touched it, I caught it. <laughs> All right, let's try to get the next one. You haven't let me down yet. Oh my God, I had another bite over there. Oh, got him, got him. Got him. Another, another gator on the day. Wow, that was like the, almost like the very next cast, bro. Yeah. Wow, they swim everywhere, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Oh! oh it, came off. it came off. I seen it. Oh, the uh, it was a little bit bigger. Wow. It had, a, had a growth on it, though. It did? Yeah. I see the pink growth on it. Oh, well. Close enough. Yeah. Hey, you hooked into two, so that's a good sign. Yeah. Very close to each other there. That was crazy. Oh! Oh! It broke me off! <laughs> broke me off. Huh? Ooh. So I just got broken off by another pike. And I'm gonna. Uh, have another couple of inlines here. Yeah, yeah, my inline spinner there. 
see some of my bass stuff in here because it's not bass season yet so that's why I chose to use an inline Pikes love inline spinners uh, the reflection it looks like a school of minnows just swimming by you know so I'm gonna keep using that tie the leader on again and hopefully we can bang another one this time we'll be using the blue let's get back out there that spinner will work real well they love spinners they love spinners You got one? Nice. So Jerry's on another gator here for the morning. Yeah. We're just casting spinners. And awesome, brother. Gator fishing is actually turning into a success today for us. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. There you go, brother. We're going to get that off the bait real quick. Oh, oh! He's good. He's good. He all right, all right. Good. Oh, you need the pliers here? Oh, he's got oh, he's rubbing on the bottom. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Big gap right there. Nice. Don't let it get away like my fish. Yeah. We're going to take a few shots of this and uh, we're going to let her go. It's got a sore on the bottom as well. It's got herpes, bro. Yeah, no way. Eh? <laughs> it's got herpes, bro. All right, cool. Nice, Jerry. Oh, beautiful catch, bro. Little target speed shot. Yeah. Slide the camera in the corner. Yeah. Slide it up. Yeah, here we go. All right. All right, cool. Thank you. Nice, nice catch, brother. Oh yeah. My release wasn't so humble. <laughs> yeah, it, was it just like don't, don't plowed everywhere, twisted like a tornado. Yeah. Cool. Like All right. Say. Awesome. Let's get back to this. So right now I'm one for three and Jerry's two for two. And uh, these spinners are working very well, especially in early spring here. Water is like crystal clear, jet clean. You can see like minnows and everything. You might try to do a little bit of crappy fishing after. We're just going to try to fish for anything today. Move to a few different spots. But right now, this is actually producing pretty well. It's going to try to be a multi-species day. Yeah, it is going to be a multi-species day. But if this doesn't pan out later, we can always move to a different spot. So let's continue fishing real quick. Nice. I love seeing that blade swim in the water. I love seeing the blade come through the water. It's actually pretty cool. That blade looks real nice coming through the water. It's spinning very well. Look at that, guys. You guys can see that. That's a pike cast. Right there, Jerry. I told you. That's what I said. I was like, that's a pike cast right there, Jerry. He even called it for you, bro. Hold on, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Yeah, you're on fire today, bro. Beautiful day like this. <laughs> Did you hear me say it? Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's a pike cast, Jerry. Oh, in the middle. Oh, get him around that wood. I am. Oh, it's taking off. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Oh, it's got another. It's got that's a... Mark. Yeah. There you go, brother. Nice. Woo! <laughs> choked it. Choked my bait, dude. Won't stop. You choked it. Tornado and de yeah. the death death roll. Yeah, you gotta you gotta lift the net up. Just spun around in it. It's caught in it. Yeah. The death roll. Yeah. All right, there you go. I get the bait out, put them in the net, clean them off. And yeah. There we go. All right, let's put you All in right. the net, clean you up. Run that off your freaking boil, whatever the thing on the back is fucking bleeding. All right, so we got that fish off the hook uh jerry's just has to get him revived in the net real quick yeah. we'll clean off so we can get an up couple nice shots but it's got like a lamprey mark coming out of his back you guys can see how many pike is that for you today three three for three three for three yep and i am one for four 
but that was the same spot that uh, I casted earlier. And I, well, as soon as he hit the water, I was like, Jerry, that's a pike cast right there. Wham! Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a few shots. Sure. All right. All right, bro. Awesome catching, bro. You're on fire right now. You're on fire! I love gator fishing right now. Yeah. We still get a big species to just have fun with. Oh, look at that way. Look at it's like a torpedo that just swam in the water. All right, let's let's on to the next fish. As I start around here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> As soon as it hit. Told you, first cast. <laughs> oh yeah, good blast. Good sign. Oh yeah. It hit like instantly. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Oh, the inline came out. Perfect. Perfect. And get a few shots, we'll put it back. Thank you. So I was using the inline spinner there, and uh, as soon as I cast it and hit the water, pretty much one crank, that fish was right there. Oh, amazing! Amazing. Cool, bro. All right, guys. So so far we fished the day out, and uh, Jerry's got three. I got two. And we're gonna try to move to a different spot and uh, hopefully we'll find some other different kind of fish. But pike season has actually been a success so far. That's your first time going out to try to chase pike and uh Yep, same here. It is man. The first time this season. And we did pretty good. Five pike between the both of us is actually really good and missed missed a bunch. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna move on to the next spot. Yeah, All right. pike over that grassy area on that side. Uh, probably. Wouldn't doubt it, man. There's pike everywhere in these waters these, these days. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, second spot. So we're gonna fish this marina here. Or park, whatever you want to call it, canal. And uh hopefully there's some in here. There's a few times we do get some, but we'll have to find out today. It's nice out though. Oh yeah. Too bad it was the east wind. Oh dude, there's a pike head right here. Really? Yeah, like just the head. Oh, the spine, everything got picked apart. Look at that. Wow, so they're in here. Yeah, so they're, yeah, it's just the head with some skin on it, no eyes, and the spine and the fin tail. <clears throat> oh, damn, it broke my ankle. Oh, it is. That's crazy. Right there, guys, you guys see that? That's crazy. It is. So someone caught it and killed it or skinned it or something. Freaking killed it and picked it all apart and left the rest. Yeah. There's <laughs> a fish on top of the water right there. It's pretty friendly. Is that a fish? I think so. That, that, that just popped up out of nowhere. Yeah, that's a fish. Yeah. That is a fish. Well, I'll find out when we catch that. Popped up out of nowhere though, that's a good cabbage that fucking. How's that? There you go. It's cabbage. Yeah. They just popped up out of nowhere. I'm like, yeah. What the hell? Suntanning fish? Yeah, caught some cabbage. Yep. I'm gonna move, gonna move down the canal real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely cabbage out there. Yeah, you know, the water's still pretty nice. For sure, for sure. There's a lay down next to this boulder. Mm, I see it. There is, there's something down there. There's all kinds of people fishing over here. Everybody's out enjoying the nice weather. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
All right, let's get our nice weather in. This canal sucks. I might go try off the dock over here in the grassy area. That way so let's go try. Huh? Let's go try. Can I try everything today, bro? Yeah. You don't know unless you go there. Yeah. Hopefully we smash bike over here. Bike. 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 Bike Lowry. Yeah, bike Lowry. Yeah. I would like to catch a pike Lowry. Yeah. Oh, or pike Iconelli. Yeah. And when you get the biggest one, bro, it's what? it's it's Pike o Jordan. <laughs> This nest is probably around here. Yeah, for sure. This nest is right there. No, no, it's just running from me. Oh, okay. Never know. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, man. That's actually pretty cool. Turkey Creek. Yeah. All right. Alright, so we fished our second location today. I don't know if you guys can see it out there, but there's a heavy mud line and it's like a little bit cleaner, like a greenish color in here. But that's the reason why the walleyes haven't been biting that well on shore. Because that mud line right out there, we got an east wind that came in, it was super heavy, 60 kilometer hours, it was just going nuts. I decided to go catfishing on that day when it first started and we did really, really well with that. But right now the walleye fishing is not so good. But we are about to move to another spot and it might be the last spot of the day. Hopefully we catch something there, but two pike for me, three pike for Jerry, and a lot of miss. So all in all, still a success for a nice, good day. And it's also Mother's Day, so if you're a mom watching this, happy Mother's Day to you guys. Alright. I'm just enjoying being outside. Uh, let's go to the next spot, bro. One last time. Alright, so we're going to check out the last spot. And, uh... Hopefully, hopefully there's something here. I don't know what the water clarity is like. Some canals are going crazy, like milk chocolate. And some are actually clean. Oh, she's brown? Mary Brown? Okay, so this canal is brown and uh, doesn't look so good. But we're still gonna try to take a couple casts. Hopefully we can catch something. She chocolate. Oh, she is really chocolate. Yeah. Right there. Wow! Damn, they chopped beavers. Look at the beavers fucking hacked down all the trees. It did, yeah. right there. Yeah, there's beavers around here. Yeah. Okay. Can see down right there, but shallow. Yeah. Man. All right, let's, we'll, we'll give it a cast or no? I don't care. I'll go down the rocks and give it a shot. All right. We'll guess we'll go down there for you guys. I mean, a fish muddy water like this, you got oh, so we lost our Lunker City prop frog. Lunker <laughs> hut, sorry. <laughs> Stuck on the wire. Yeah. All right, I guess so, bro. Doesn't look too promising at all. Not, Not at all. Yeah, it is. It's a lot. It's really down. Remember, it was up to this bush. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's hop over and go. Doot, doot. All right. So you can see we just arrive into the location and it is chocolate. Nope, no chocolate. <laughs> you can hear the birds chirping under the bridge here. Gotta be careful so I don't roll my ankle. Huh. Oh man, 
Yeah, I'm gonna cast. I'm already down here. <laughs> Can't believe I thought about that. Anyways, so let's just take a couple casts. I'll find out. As long as you don't hit that wire, you're good up there. It'd be cool to catch a David Bowie fin. Yeah. Come on now. Can't believe how chocolate it is in here. Yeah, those birds are flying around and they're chirping. They're going crazy. I got a stick roll. Stick roll? Yeah. Tree pounder? Yeah, tree pounder. Come on. Bang drippity, it. Drippity drop shot it. Yeah. Man, it's so nice out right now, bro. I know. Alright guys, so uh that was another location. Uh, we didn't do well at all. So for One, our, all you out of towner people, stuff like that, watch his videos and stuff like that, you realize for most of the year this is what we have to fish. Conditions like this. Yes. It is absolutely brutal in this area, like you have to travel to find clean water. And when we find clean water, most of the time, we're not allowed to fish it because it's private property or mm -hmm. we can't get to it. Yeah. So this is what we're stuck to. So when you see us catch fish on this, man, trust me, we're working. <laughs> yeah, so we might move to one more spot, just check it out real quick. But if not, uh, you guys will have to check me out later. We're gonna end it, climb this mountain so I don't break my ankles. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my cankles, my cankles. Yeah, All right, so nope. we made it to the top. <laughs> so if you guys haven't like, share, and subscribe, I'll have to catch you on the next one. So peace. peace.